Today we're going to teach you how to properly bleed the hydraulic slave and throw out assembly for a Chevrolet ZF6 transmission. Today we've got Mansell Washburn from South Bend Clutch. He came down today and we're doing a ZF6 clutch install. And uh, you can click the link that's gonna be in this video, maybe down here where my hand is, somewhere in this area right here, to properly uh, stacking the clutch discs together. But Mansell actually taught me something today. Uh, this truck that we're working on is actually my personal truck. I've had the clutch, or I've had this transmission in and out no less than probably 50 times. Uh, but Mansell actually taught me something today uh, on how to properly bleed this um, slave cylinder and hydraulic throw out bearing assembly. Chevrolet's the only one that's got this right, Mansell. The, um, the ZF6 transmission that's actually in the Fords, they have an external slave, which is the smart way to do it, but Chevrolet had to be different. They put the slave and the throw out bearing all as one assembly inside the transmission, so it's, it's a booger to get to if you gotta change it. So we'll show you how to properly bleed this. Now, what we've done is we've brought the transmission close enough to the truck to where we can make the connection with the, the hydraulic line. That goes up to the master cylinder in the, uh, in, the, uh, 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 in the engine bay. We've got the lid off of the master cylinder. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push this assembly back and forth slowly. Slowly as to not push hydraulic fluid out of the master cylinder and onto our head and then we're gonna release it. We push it in. That's gonna push the air out of this line, up the, up the line, and out of the master cylinder. It'll bubble, and then when you bring it back, it's gonna bring the fluid back and fill that cylinder. So that's the right way to do that. Mansell said do it about 15 times or so. We're gonna do it slowly, and that will give us a proper bleeding of this assembly. Now, with South Mid's other hydraulic assemblies, uh, namely for the Dodges, uh, they're already pre-bled units, and this is essentially a pre-bled unit. Uh, it's already got the fluid in it, but this just works the rest of the air out of the out of the assembly. So we're going to do that about 15 times, and then we're going to go ahead and install our transmission. So for Mansell Washburn of South Bend Clutch and me here at Thoroughbred Diesel, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions on this installation or any of our other installations, give us a call. Thank you.